letting go of control. Once upon a time, there lived a wise old man. Left England approximately a million years ago, been living in a glorified tent ever since. Spend a lot of time in the forest, and that's where I learn <laughs> all the stuff. He lived with his son. They lived next door to Mr. Know-it-all and Mrs. Joining in. I am dedicated to the real magic of being the container of joy which contains all crazy lunacy of the world as well as all the good bits. The wise old man and his son had a horse. We all have desires in our lives, of our plans, the way that we think things should go. You're so lucky to have a horse, said Mr and Mrs Know-it-all. We want to control our businesses, health, children, neighbours, the government. Maybe, said the wise old man. And we've kind of got to a stage in life where it all seems completely out of control. One day, the horse ran away. We have learnt so many rights and wrongs, goods and bads, wants and don't want, shoulds and shouldn'ts. Our mind is crammed with it, bombarded endlessly with more information. And sometimes it just ends up being this like mad, tight tangle and you're overthinking and you're in this labyrinth that is basically guided by fear or the desire to be liked. Oh no, said Mr and Mrs Know-it-all, your horse has gone. How awful. And it's this tangle. Okay, <laughs> there is a way out. Maybe and maybe not said the wise old man. And it's not through more thinking. It actually involves letting go of all those things that we thought that we knew. It's a surrender to what is. It's not through looking up more answers. It's already within you. Some days later, the horse came galloping back with a whole... <laughs> A whole herd of horses. There must be experiences in your life where things haven't gone according to plan. Wow, you're so lucky. Maybe, maybe not. But somehow along the line, you can see... One day, the sun was out training the horses. <laughs> Suddenly, he fell over and broke his leg. Oh no, how awful. But by leaving late in your car... Maybe, maybe not. You did avoid that major accident on the road. A few days later, a soldier came looking for people to join the army. And because the son had a broken leg, he couldn't join. We are very fixed into the opinions that we know how things should be. And that all just goes to illustrate <laughs> that you never can tell. What is it in your life you can feel that kind of clinging on to, that desire to control, that neediness of a particular result that perhaps you could hand over to the universe? to open that door, to let that wisdom in. Write in the comments below. You can feel it inside you. What is that thing? And then there's the way things are. And as we surrender to the way things are, it actually opens up a doorway from the tangle of all the things that we know or think we know into the great, incredible intelligence, the wisdom of creation that is, of course, flowing through you. 
and um, I'm sitting by this tree here. As you can see, it is split open. It's fallen down in one, two, three, four, five directions. Oh, look at sweet Mr. Wompy's face. <laughs> Um, I actually heard this tree fall down a couple of years ago. I was recording a podcast and suddenly it came crashing down and it looks like a scene of devastation. It has smashed down many other trees. Um, but what it has done is that it has opened up a great big space to the light. And so this is what happens when we surrender to what is, when we allow things to fall and crumble or disintegrate, even when we think they shouldn't. It's a relaxing of that rigid tension that gives us stress and illness and grumpy moods with our most beloveds. And it actually lets in the light for new things to grow, for the new native species to come into this space to create something entirely new. If we had rigidly held up this tree with iron rods of it should be like this or tied it all together with a rope to keep it steady, it would have rotted from within and gradually crumbled down anyway. But as it is, Nature has shown us already new species are growing. A lot of elder is coming down here and it will thrive here, providing many berries for the birds, for me. Back to the main focus, letting go of control. But how do you do that? There's a plane going over. I'm feeling a bit rigid about it because it shouldn't be happening during my video. So how to let go? When we are told all the time what should and shouldn't be, and we have, of course, our own ideas of that, well, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big subject, and there are different ways to do it, to flow with that current I'll talk about that in other videos. I'll put a link with this video to another video about it. Um, also, I have recorded like 152 podcasts of nature sounds in the forest, all totally edited, so there's no airplane sound at all. Wonderful, wonderful stream, bird, insects, breeze sounds. Because when we hear those sounds, it reminds us that we are part of nature and that just as that wisdom that creates this forest that has fallen this tree, that is flowing in this stream and that is singing in the bird song is in you too. So feel free, go over and have a listen. And I'll also put a link to a beautiful meditation. Oh, bloody blah, blah. Have a look. If you're enjoying this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> I've let go of the control of the blue paint on my hands.